World Food Program introduced activities like rabbit rearing, vegetable growing, production and multiplication of orange and sweet potatoes in Karinga District at Jubilee Senior Secondary School and Karinga Boys Primary. WFP and AFI identified at least two schools in each of the five selected districts of Karinga, Kotido, Abim, Morota and Kapirprit to act as first centers of driving the adoption and promotion of growing orange fleshed and sweet potatoes through the asset creation and livelihood program. The deputy program director, WFP, Marcus Pryor, said that schools are now best platforms to drive adoption of farming skills and learners are capable of transferring the knowledge to communities. What WFP is looking to do is to achieve scale, is to achieve uh, development initiatives that can be replicated. And to do that we need to find platforms uh, from which scale can be achieved. So that's why we started to look in a, in a, in a new way at schools as platforms for aspects of development beyond learning itself. Uh, and that's something we're exploring here in, uh, in Karamoja. Uh, we're looking in particular at uh, the orange flesh sweet potato. We're looking at rabbit rearing um, and making schools uh, like incubation hubs so that the communities can see for themselves uh, what can be achieved uh, through these particular initiatives. And also that the students who are very involved uh, in these initiatives take the lessons home. The schools will also act as agricultural seed centers that will ensure continuous supply of seeds to the communities in the region. The head teacher of Namalu Mixed Primary School, Nakapiripirit District, Godfrey Alim, so when says food in schools will attract daily attendance, which will attract good performance among learners. Group in the school, which is coming from different communities, and now that we have taught these children how to grow tomatoes, all different kind of vegetables. We also ensure that as they go back home, they teach their parents. Besides teaching, they go and grow in their home so that others can buy the idea to fight malnutrition, which is covering up Karamoja. WFP has empowered school nutrition clubs through setting up nutrition vegetable gardens that are providing schools with vegetables throughout the seasons. Uh, this thing is important because it helps us to know, to remove the knowledge of how to plant tomatoes and how to maintain it. Since I was young, I have never grown this, but I came to this school, I knew how to grow tomatoes, to plant skuma and eggplants. Now I've got the knowledge, I have to take also to my home and I show my people how to plant these things. Rearing of rabbits has also been introduced to complement transfer of knowledge on rabbit rearing to communities. As a student, I'm going to take this knowledge home. I tell whether my dad or my mom to buy for me rabbits. I show them how I'm going to rear them. I show them the feeds the rabbits are going to feed on. Then in, when it is time for slaughtering, when we are only three at home or how many, we can even pick one and we slaughter. Rabbits are small animals with white meat that is rich in proteins and other minerals that can enable the body against malnutrition. All animals, it is very easier for them to slaughter and eat. And we believe with a rabbit, they, once they have them in their homes, they'll find it easier to slaughter.